testing and, and um, working with this technology, which we're doing extensively at Deutsche Bank. Hello, I'm Joy McKnight, Transaction Banking Editor of The Banker. Welcome back to this Masterclass series in association with Deutsche Bank, looking at the new role of a correspondent banking provider. I'm joined by Susan Skerritt, Global Head of Institutional Cash Management and Head of Global Transaction Banking Americas at Deutsche Bank. In earlier chapters, we looked at the challenges and opportunities in correspondent banking, as well as SWIFT's Global Payment in Innovation Initiative, which is really bringing the industry together to improve cross-border payments. In the final chapter of this video series, we'll do a little future gazing as to how these and other changes could impact the correspondent banking world. Thanks for joining me again, Susan. Uh, can you sort of give us a little bit of an indication what you think the future payments industry will look like? Well, Joy, if I may, I'd just like to step back briefly because if I think about the way in which the industry has evolved, um, the correspondent banking industry does amazing things right now. We process thousands of payments every second. At Deutsche Bank alone, we're processing a trillion euro of payments every day across our euro and U.S. dollar platforms. So an amazing amount of progress that the industry has made already. What the next step is, is the ability to build on that and be even better in terms of the amount of information we provide and the speed and efficiency with which we provide it. But I would argue that we're doing pretty well already, but we have to get better. Okay. And there's been a lot of buzz around blockchain mm -hmm. and how it can really transform the correspondent banking world. How do you see that progressing? Well, blockchain, of course, is the technology that underli underlined Bitcoin. But, of course, it's much more than that. So distributed ledger technology, or blockchain, is technology that actually enables a ledger to be shared. So it, it does away with a single organization holding information and enables a broad set of people to enable it, to, to hold the information. Um, and I think distributed ledger technology has a very interesting set of applications in the transaction banking space. Certainly there's the potential for payments, but I also see significant opportunities in the security servicing area and potentially in the trade finance area. Since payment processing is already so efficient, um, the opportunity to make it more efficient um, is there, but it shouldn't be, I don't believe, the primary focus of DLT initiatives. But there's also a lot of challenges when it comes to implementing DLT. What, what are some of those challenges? Yeah, there, there are challenges. I mean, it's really in its infancy. And so the challenges are getting regulatory agreement um, and ensuring that the regulators understand and are comfortable with, with the processes. We need to make sure there's an appropriate legal framework so that any legal issues can be resolved. We need to make sure that there's security because clearly a distributed ledger technology is distributed and we need to make sure that, that the information there is safe. And we also need to make sure that there is interoperability and scale associated with DLT. Okay, and I know that Deutsche Bank is involved in industry consortium like R3, but it's also doing some internal uh, DLT uh, uh, experiments, I guess. Uh, what kind of things are, is Deutsche Bank doing? So there's several things that we're doing because there's not, it's very difficult in this environment to take one path and only one path. I think it's very important that, that banks like ours are looking across several areas. So we have our innovation labs. Uh, we have innovation labs in Berlin, here in London, uh, and in Silicon Valley. And we're using those innovation labs to work with financial uh, technology providers to test what, what they have, some of which is DLT. Um, we have joined the R3 consortium, which is testing DLT specifically in a variety of venues. And we've just recently announced utility settlement coin. USC is an, a smaller uh, partnership with a small uh, number of players looking at how we can actually replace currency and so provide substitutes for sterling, dollar, and other major currencies. Very exciting. And what do you think the future of transaction banking is? I think the future of 
transaction banking is continuing to provide our clients what they need and making sure that we're responding to their requirements for transparency, their requirements for efficiency, their requirements for speed, which requires investment, enormous investment. And we are doing that at Deutsche Bank and are prepared to do that. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Susan. This concludes the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with Deutsche Bank, looking at the new role of a correspondent banking provider.